Dubai is a city that seeks to impress and is well known for its extravagances as well as for breaking records. With its tall skylines, gigantic shopping malls and luxurious hotels, it's the perfect destination for those looking for some glam and luxury. Welcome to Top Picks and today we are looking at the things that make Dubai the city of extravagance. Number 1, Burj Khalifa. The Burj Khalifa has held the title of the world's tallest building since its inauguration in 2010. The building stands at a whopping height of 2,722 feet. The building encompasses thousands of square feet of office space, the Armani Hotel Dubai, the world's highest restaurant, atmosphere, situated on the 122nd floor, and the world's highest lounge, the Burj Khalifa Lounge, situated on the 154th floor, which is also the highest occupied floor in the building. Number 2, Dubai Mall. The Dubai Mall opened in 2008, is the second largest shopping mall in the world with a total internal floor area of 5.9 million square feet. With over 54 million visitors each year, it was the most visited building on the planet in 2011. The mall has over 1,300 retail outlets, over 200 food outlets as well as several attractions, namely the Dubai Aquarium and Underwater Zoo, which is one of the largest suspended aquarium in the world and houses thousands of aquatic animals including sharks, rays and much more. The VR Park Dubai, with a 76,000 square feet, is the largest in or virtual reality park in the world, featuring more than 30 exhilarating experiences for adults as well as for children. The Real Cinemas, a 22-screen cinema, one of the largest theaters in the region, featuring four cinema suites and 17 commercial halls. The Rainforest Cafe, with tropical ruins decor and light shows. The Hysteria, a haunted house, that is sure to give their guests a terrifying experience. The Dubai Dino, situated in the center of the mall, measuring 23 feet high and 78 feet long, is an intriguing exhibit of a genuine fossil of a Diplodocus longus, a gigantic creature of the prehistoric era. The Kidsania, an interactive edutainment park for children, allowing children to role-play adult jobs and earn currency. The Dubai Fountain, situated in front of the mall, is the world's largest choreographed fountain system in the world. Number 3, Ski Dubai. The Ski Dubai, opened in 2005, is an indoor ski resort situated at the Mall of Emirates. With around 242,000 square feet of ski area, the resort features a 278 feet high in or mountain, with five slopes of varying steepness and difficulty, a 400 meter long run, the world's first indoor black diamond run, and various other features. Skiers and snowboarders have a quad lift and tow lift service to take them up the mountain. There is also a snow park area with sled and toboggan rides, body slides, climbing towers, giant snowballs and an ice cave. The park has its own colony of penguins and activities such as penguin interaction is also available. Number 4, Burj Al Arab. With a whopping 1,790 square meters covered with gold leaf, 30 kinds of Italian marble, and amenities such as IMAX and golden iPads, the Burj Al Arab is a luxurious 5-star rated hotel. However, the hotel was also rated as a 7-star hotel the highest unofficial official ranking by a British journalist. The hotel, opened in 1999, stands on an artificial island and is connected to the mainland by a private bridge. It has its own helipad. The hotel holds 28 double-story floors making it the world's fifth tallest hotel in the world. The hotel has 202 bedroom suites, the smallest being 1,820 square feet and the largest 8,400 square feet. The Royal Suite is billed at $24,000 US a night, where customers can enjoy luxury services such as a 24-hour butler service and staff to suite ratio of 8 to 1, a 17 selection pillow menu, full-sized Hermes toiletries, a large fleet of Rolls-Royce shuttle service and helicopter for airport transfers, private beach and so on. The hotel Skyview Bar serves one of the world's most expensive drink, a 7,400 US dollars cocktail made with 55-year-old Macallan single malt whiskey. It is served in an 18-karat gold glass which can be kept by the customer once it is purchased. The cocktail's name 27.321 comes from both its price and location.
It is only possible to visit the hotel if you stay there or have a reservation in one of the restaurants. Number 5, Desserts. When it comes to dessert, Dubai is home to two of the most expensive sweet treats in the world. Black Diamond Ice Cream. The Scoopy Cafe is a gourmet ice cream and chocolate cafe, which has a signature dessert, the world's most expensive ice cream, the Black Diamond Ice Cream. At 816 US dollars a scoop, the ice cream is made of vanilla bean ice cream from Madagascar, saffron from Iran, rare black truffles from Alba, and 23 carat gold flakes and powder, served in a golden, handcrafted Versace bowl and a silver spoon, which the customer can keep. Golden Phoenix Cupcake At 1,224 UD dollars, the Golden Phoenix Cupcake is the world's most expensive edible cupcake. This cupcake from Bloomberries, is crafted with premium Amade Porcelana chocolate, premium Ugandan vanilla beans and organic flour. The pastry is covered with 23 karat edible gold sheets and not to forget the edible gold dust on the chocolate icing and on its chocolate decor and garnished with strawberries dipped in chocolate and coated as well with edible gold dust. Number 6, Dubai Gold Souk. The Gold Souk is one of the oldest and most fascinating traditional market with some of the shops being as old as four decades. The narrow lanes are home to over 380 jewelry stores offering the biggest collection of jewelry crafted from gold and precious stones in a variety of carats. The world's largest gold ring, the Star of Taba, is currently displayed at a store in the Gold Souk in hopes of promoting jewelry sales. The ring, valued at 3 million US dollars, weighs nearly 64 kilograms and is adorned with 5.2 kilograms of precious stones. Number 7, Dubai Police Fleet. Dubai is home to most mouth-watering supercars in the world, where mall car parks look like luxury vehicle showroom and where one can see streets lined with stretched hummers, bright pink limousines and Rolls-Royce taxis. However, the most striking of all remains the police cars. Their ever-growing fleet contains Aston Martin Audi Bentley BMW Bugatti Chevrolet Dodge Ferrari Ford Mustang Jaguar Hummer Lamborghini Lexus Lycan Hypersport Maserati, McLaren Mercedes Nissan GTR Porsche Pagani Rolls-Royce and Tesla And not to forget their motorcycle fleet including The Yamaha R1 and R6 And the Hoversurf Scorpion 3 Hoverbike these cars and motorcycles however are mainly used for show and to patrol the wealthier tourist-friendly areas. Number 8, Artificial Islands Dubai's ambitious project of artificial islands includes the Palm Islands and the World Archipelagos, which can be seen from space, and, which, when completed, will increase Dubai's shoreline by 520 kilometers. The Palm Islands is made up of three artificial islands namely, Palm Jumeirah, Dara Island, and Palm Jebel Ali. However, up until now, only the Palm Jumeirah has been completed, while the other two islands have been on hold due to the financial crisis as well as the World Archipelagos, which consists of 300 islands and constructed in the shape of the world map. The Palm Jumeirah's construction began in 2001 and by 2006, there were over 500 residents already residing on the island. By the end of 2009, 28 hotels were already operating on the island including five-star hotels like Atlantis the Palm, the Fairmont Palm Hotel, and Resort, and the Waldorf Astoria, among others. As of 2016, it had a population of 10,500. To connect the island with the mainland, a monorail of 5.4 kilometers long, the first in the Middle East, came into operation in 2009. Number 9, Gold to Go. In 2010, the first gold dispensing vending machine was officially opened in the lavish Emirates Palace Hotel. The Gold to Go ATM is designed to dispense items made of pure gold including 24 karat gold bars in 1 gram, 5 gram and 10 gram sizes. The ATM also offers gift boxes of gold coins bearing symbols such as the Krugerrand, a maple leaf, or a kangaroo. A computer inside the ATM keeps track of gold prices in real time and prices its gold accordingly. The machine has a gold leaf finish.
It has all the features of regular vending machines, including a touchscreen, cash and card slots, and an illuminated showcase. To keep it from being used for money laundering, any one user can only access it three times within 24 hours, and must then take a 48-hour break. For purchases over US$1,000, a scan of the user's personal identification is required. Have you ever been to Dubai? Have you ever visited the attractions mentioned in this video? Or are there any other extravagances that we forgot to mention? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.